Hi, I'm Roll SK from Bitter Old Goons Gaming and welcome to part one in our series on restoring and modifying an old arcade cabinet using RetroPie. So in the series, we're going to restore this old Burger Time cabinet and add a RetroPie uh, main base emulator system with an LCD. And uh, this particular Burger Time cabinet was released in about 1981 by Bally uh, Midway. And uh, it came into my life about 10 years ago. I was uh, at a jam spot and the owner of the jam spot said, just take the thing with you, I want it out of here. And at that time it had a uh, sort of 2D scroller space game in it. And it had been modified to accommodate that game. Somebody had added second buttons. Uh, Burger Time original cabinets only had a four-way joystick and one button on each side. So we're going to restore it to that sort of original thing. And uh, it uh, passed from me to a couple of friends who then sort of stripped out the guts and, and got it to its state where it's in now. And uh, sort of top to bottom, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to restore the exterior. And as you can see, the exterior is painted and a friend of mine, Ryan, is going to project an image on here and then paint by hand to match the existing colors and exterior. We're going to replace the T molding, which originally should have been an orange or a red, but has faded to a yellow. Uh, we're going to get a replica marquee and replace the fluorescent light that should have been in here. And we're going to use a couple PC speakers and the original 6x9 slot for sound in the system. We're going to get a replica tempered glass bezel made that will cover the LCD and we'll put the 4x3 LCD underneath that. We're going to install a overlay over the control system that will cover up the additional second buttons that should not be there and sort of restore it to uh, original looking sort of thing and then a four-way joystick versus the eight one that's in there. We're going to use a retro pie with a USB interface to control those buttons. And uh, finally, we're going to install a couple of uh, soft white LEDs in the coin slot lights just to give that authentic look. So with that, we're going to go over a brief overview of the parts and what it's going to cost to put something like this together. Okay, so before us, we have basically what you're going to need to make your own conversion, if it's in a similar state to what I have here. Uh, starting from, uh, you know, left to right, we have the marquee itself. Now, I got this from... Broad Street Decals on eBay and uh, the link will be down below for their their thing but basically it's just a uh, replica Burger Time thing uh, measured to the correct size for the cabinet you're gonna need some two millimeter plexiglass uh, this is available at almost any hardware store it's relatively inexpensive uh, Johnny Rockets and a group got a sheet for about 30 bucks and uh, make sure you get a plastic knife that might cost you an additional $10 as mentioned earlier, you're going to need a set of PC speakers. Now, make sure you pick something that you can fit inside the 6x9 cavity or whatever speaker cavity you have in your cabinet. Ideally, you would have something with a remote volume control. Uh, if you don't get that, though, you can just control the volume from the actual RetroPie, uh, the Pi itself. We have a fluorescent light, so the 20 inch. And, uh, you know, these are available at sort of any hardware store. Relatively easy to come by, about $20. We have a Dell, oops, we've got a Dell Ultra Sharp here. Now this is a four x three monitor. It was a recycled monitor. I purchased it uh, on eBay. Uh, it's an IPS 1600 by 1200 panel, and it's got a 90 by 90 viewing angle. Uh, when you're picking an LCD monitor, you want to do some research, make, you, make sure you find the best viewing angle that's going to work for your system. And this is a 20 inch monitor and we're replacing a 19 inch CRT. So it's important to note that a CRT 19 inch is not equivalent to a 4x3 LCD 19 inch. Do your research, get the measuring tape out, find out what's going to work for you. Uh, what we're missing from this group is the actual tempered glass bezel. Uh, it's on order, They've, they're a little bit back order on those, but the full size tempered glass bezel uh, I got that <clears throat> for about 100 bucks US uh, in plus 25 shipping. And uh, this here is a control overlay. You know, so this is designed to sort of bend over your and provide the accurate overlay for your arcade machine. And I actually got this online uh, 
for about 35 bucks on shipping and the link will be below for that. And this is a 3M double-sided tape, so that's perfect for, for adhering to the existing panel. Uh, we've got some tea molding here, and I got that from teamolding.com. Again, the link will be below. This stuff's about uh, a bucket foot at best, and, and this is what's going to replace the tea molding on the unit itself. And uh, now we get to the actual hardware. And uh, what we have here is a can of pie kit, complete with case. You know, that's about $70. You can get that on Amazon shipped, and that's a, a pie three. And that should come with a case, heat sinks, and your power source. Uh, we also have a USB interface here. Now what this will do is allow you to, you know, connect your buttons directly to your USB on your RetroPie. And you can pick that up. Uh, I got that on Amazon from SC Source for about $14. And uh, finally, we just have a couple of uh, software LEDs and you can get these for about a buck each. But make sure you get a 5 volt and we're going to actually wire that directly into the Pi. Now the actual buttons themselves, this is a uh, Wanwa ILF 4-way or 8-way joystick and uh, this one's configurable to do 4 or 8-way. Burger Time is a 4-way control game and there's lots of games that are 4-way control like Pac-Man and a few others that if you have an 8-way control they're just awkward. And uh, we've also picked up uh, some uh, Rayan Hap style buttons and these are you know a couple of bucks each but uh high quality buttons for the arcade machine and we've gone for the yellow and the black that's going to be original so all said and done uh this is going to cost you about 500 bucks us or about 650 canadian dollars depending on where you can source your parts but that's going to get you the uh you know like the new bezel that's going to get you some secondhand speakers secondhand monitor new fluorescent light that's going to get you a reproduction control overlay to match whatever system you want well, it might be more expensive if you have more buttons, but this one's fairly simple. You know, this uh, this team molding is about a buck a foot, as mentioned. Your pie is about 70 bucks Canadian. This interface is about $15, and your buttons and controls, that'll be about 50 bucks. So, all in all, relatively reasonable to do. And, uh, you know, the tricky part is just sort of finding out what pieces you need and then sourcing them all and getting them all in one spot. Well, that concludes the introductory video to our series on converting this old Burger Time cabin into a RetroPie main machine. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe and stick around. Uh, in our next video, we're going to install the marquee, the speakers, the light, and start discussing the layout of a RetroPie and control setup. Uh, thanks very much, and we we'll look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.